Actually, that's a point. Imagine there's a boss. Let's go fight Majima, shall we? Technically, you didn't have to lose to him, and it would have given you like 80 XP. Oh. <laughs> yes, but we saw what happened when I fought, um... What is... What, uh, Hanuma Man. And... Yeah, that took a while. Stop that. Cute anime girl. Advertising DVDs, I'm sure that's not become to board. So beat up a dude with the same name as a car. Stabby stab! Throw your throw. There we go. Not dead, by the way. I love how they're worn out katanas. Just to say, yeah, this isn't going to cut somebody in half. Just so you know. Also, why is Majima on fire? Yoo-hoo, Kiryu-chan. Majima son. I don't know what the big rush is, but I don't plan on letting you pass without saying much of a word. And I don't plan on changing the path I'm walking. As long as we're st you're standing in the way, I'll face you as many times as it takes. Come on! Tell me your moves! Um, okay. Where can I get my blasted heat action for Mashima? Oh, heat action for Dragon Ball. Oh, my Kawami heat action. I should probably be more attacked. I don't remember Dragon of Dojima being quite this strong at the start of the game. But in fairness, I do have Kameki's training behind me. Good lord, what was that? A drop maybe a bit, a bit OP now. <laughs> Man, you're pretty damn tough. Just what I'd expect from the one and only you Chan. I'm, you're pretty relaxed for having lost. Then again, this is about the fifth time. Are you sure I haven't punched you in the head too many times? Yeah. Straight. I have so much fun fighting you. I can't help but feel good about it. I can also taste colours now and see the spectrum of music. It's rather entertaining. The more we fight, the more pumped I get. I can't fight. I could fight you forever. Give me you chum. Hmm. Are you sure about that? But it looks like I've lost this time. We can pick this up where we left off later. See you around. <laughs> Right, marvelous. That was another mad dog. There we go, six. So we still need to do many more. Um. Right, let's heal. And then back to the Coliseum, I suppose. Have you decided? Yes, I will have everything. My. My. Okay, I really want to see what the improved dragon style will do now in the Colosseum. Oh yeah, I still need to... But no, we'll do that later. They were blocking my way, I can get that. Okay, fine. 
just healed as well. Fine now. Thank you. That works. Ah, we've got help. Hi. Nani? Okay. He the taxi driver again. No, he's not. In these cardboard boxes. Seriously, this is a hidden Majima, so it's going to be something entertaining. I think. Or is it a surprise attack Majima? It'll be a surprise attack Majima. That cigarette machine. Okay, I thought it was going to be something more entertaining. Um. Oh, oh that's. Uh, oh, never mind. Sod it. Don't even matter. I'm sure I'll find you later. The rereading chat. If I'd beaten Majima when he first appeared to us after our return to Kamarocho back at the start of the game, I wonder what the dialogue would have been. Probably something along the lines of, Oh, Kiryu-chan, I see you can still beat me, but you were completely pathetic while you were doing it. Hello, pretty ladies. Hi, pretty ladies. Hi, pretty... No, you're not a pretty lady. Hello, pretty ladies. Don't mind me, I'm just going to beat some people up. Try and buy some weapons. Something along the lines of, What the hell is wrong with you? Uh, that has also been entirely possible. Oh, actually, come to think of it, we've not saved the game for a while. Let's save the game. That would be an important thing to do. Maybe I should get a save emote. Uh, still need to think of emotes. Hmm, I'll sit down and try and come up with ideas later. Yeah, no, that was right. Okay. Right, enter the Colosseum. Let's see what we can do. Oh, perfect. Perfect opponent for us to test this out with. Owie. Hmm. Okay. I almost can actually land it on him. Look for that wacky damage. That lose what? Three tiger drops to drop him? I can know with that. Even if you beat Majima at the start, it's basically Kiryu winded as hell saying how much he sucks. Oh, fair enough. Nearly a whole heart, a whole health now. I know, it's amazing. Right, just have to land a hit on this dude. I'm guessing the first gas mask dude was more of a glass cannon. 
He hits like a ton of bricks, but he, can, he doesn't have that much defense, whereas this dude seems a bit sturdier. And is also a pain in the neck. There we go. <laughs> I'm guessing it's Kameki next. No, it isn't. It's Judo Chap. Judo Chap. Uh -huh. Oh, that was me. Oh, I should have paid attention to what he was doing. There we go. Um, does seem to do more to him. Yeah. Bonk. Wow. And crap. Ah. Oh. And that one. Pick him while he's down. The two most snap does seem to do more to him. <laughs> I love how he rolls back to his feet. Indeed. There we go. Oh, I didn't pay attention to how many points we got, but I'm guessing it's somewhere in the region of 70. Uh, don't do that just yet. What's my health looking like? Yeah, I could probably do it with stuff out. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that was stupid. Ow. Yeah, he does seem to take the hit, the, the sumo slap a lot harder than the others, than the other chapter. Oh, we finally do on the panel. Right. Um, there's some striking involved in judo. Like, is there striking involved in judo? Um, yes, yes, there is. 
distorted. A, a lot of it's grappling on the floor, but I suppose it stands to reason that it's a martial art, so it's bound to have a few punches in there. I mean, he's basically using the punching to punches to open us up for the next move. Um, well, that's plain. Even Brawl Style seems to have its own version of Tiger Drop called Lightning Fist, but it's more balanced. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> Oh, I didn't get that one. Game. I never got lightning fist to work. There we go. Not often we get to use that big that heat action. Kind of got tiger drop. It works the same as any Tiger Drop, same input and timing, even animation. It, oh, right, it's just that it's a lower caliber because it isn't Tiger Drop. That works. Cool. Right, we got through that one. What does that bring us to? That was 42,000. Okay, okay. Right, 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 right. Zap gun is 100,000. How many zap guns do you think we should have for when we go against Thingamy Bob McAnon? Two? Three? It's, it's a sort of like solar plexus attack since the opponent seems to react to it like they got stun gunned and electrified. There are... I could rip Tiger Drop works in real life. That'd come in useful next time I have to spar somebody. Black Belt comes hurtling towards me and I just Tiger Drop them. I might get a bollocking for that actually. Maybe that's a bad idea. Uh, that's a bad idea actually. I think zero stun goods is a good estimate because you're a man. Yes, but man versus supernatural cannon of death. Yeah, no, no thanks. I mean, he may not have a supernatural cannon of death, but it, it, I mean, it is a fight where he did have a supernatural cannon of death, and then that devolved into a friend in a helicopter turning up and throwing garden furniture at me. Zap gun, then you do have Tiger Drop. Yeah, it's just a long range in case they have a supernatural cannon of death, which was unfortunate last time. I spent so much time losing to losing games. Well, it also was on legendary, so I didn't have checkpoints, but still. Oh, that's a new one. Should send you the three hour recording of him fighting Hammer in Zero. Please don't. Well, yeah, it did take me a while before I got fed up and I just used the zap gun on him. Alright, uh, inventory. And then in the end, it worked quite well. And then I put the zap gun away because I was not fighting him with a supernatural cannon of death, but instead fighting him versus a helicopter with a friend throwing garden furniture at me head.
Additionally, how does Tiger Drop not count as a finishing block? In fairness, the Marshall Moran on fight was much easier than the Kiryu one because he didn't have a BS cannon. some heat for the final round. Is this going to be Mucha Libre or is it going to be the Empty Child? It's Mucha Libre! Marvelous. whom Lucha Libre is, no idea. Lucha Libre, Lucha Libre, I just, uh, wasn't it a Jack Black character in a movie many, many moons ago? Only he was more rotund and he didn't have that awesome black coat. Where do I find a coat like that? Nacho Libre, that might be it. Maybe I'm mixing it up with an old cartoon of a similar name. Mucha Libre. I think it was an old cartoon on Cartoon Network, following Mexican wrestlers that saved the world with gadgets. I don't know. Or wrestling moves. Wrestling moves seems more uh, more accurate. There we go. One good shot. Lucha Libre is the sport. I never knew that. Good job. 37. Marvellous. That enough points for a zap gun. It is indeed enough points for a zap gun. Very well, noble shopkeep. Not that you work in a shop, but still... Right. No, no, we're not going to get distracted by the co- Hello! <clears throat> anyway, we're not going to get distracted by the courtesans. No, this is a bad idea. We shall just run up here and we shall leave the courtesans to the... Whatever it is courtesans do. Help assassins kill Templars. Uh, apparently, or something. Maybe. I might be making that up. Or am I? Anyway, um... Wait a minute. I've just remembered what else we were doing there. <laughs> right. Question. Do we go for free, free zap guns? Or do we go for just two and see how far we get? Because I have no idea what to expect from the Anon fight in this game. How many points do we get? About 30, so we need to do three championship fights in order to get enough points for a third. I'm tempted to go for a third, actually. Oh, 
Why do I do this to myself? You might wonder. I don't know. You got no inf You get no information. Good luck, champ. Oh, thanks. Oh, joy. And we call the Master Chief. I I I'm sure he's perfectly fine with beating up some random dude in sunglasses called Mr. Jimmy Job Anon. One of these days, I'll figure out his name. Right. Right, how many points have we got? We've got 28. So a few fights. Right, after that comment, we'll keep grinding the maximum for a little bit longer. I saw that second too late. I really need to figure out how to tiger drop him. Oh. Ow. I just realised my hands are blistered. Not from the game controller, by the way. I was doing some shoveling in the garden before. <laughs> oh, I wasn't paying attention to how many points I got there. Yeah. Uh, Fifty-five. Okay, we're halfway there, then. 
Uh, no, don't enter the tournament because I think I'm low on health. Kinda. Enough to fight some goons, not enough to fight in the Colosseum. At least not in the final round, at any rate. Maximum GPR. Starting with Butcher, Billy Bob, Dingus, right, fine. Okay, come on then. Shrugged off a tiger drop. What kind of monster is he? He didn't shake that one off though. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'll, I won't do that again. One move I'm terrified of. They can do so much damage. Yeah. There I go again. chill dude. Like he was hilarious. He's like a judo version of All Might. It was brilliant. on the beat of the music there. That was cool. And completely by chance. 37. So that was 50... One more should do it. Alright, let's have one stamina layout. That'll do. And completion list takes us into battle. 70. No, it is... There we go, 50. So we have five more to play. That's easy enough. We do one more of the maximum, and that should get us our third zap one. Don't think I'll get any more than that. Seems a bit overkill, technically. Might not even need it. And then... We 
yeah, we're just going to the easiest one and just hold everyone. A freshly pressed suit. Okay, maybe this won't be our last one then. Bring my time, it's all over the place. Oh! <laughs> that shot quite. Ah, oh, well. <laughs> 2,100 points. Hmm. Yeah, that's not enough. Okay. So, we'll try again. Starting with this dude, because of course the game wants to rub it in my face. Let's finish it on the heat axe. For me. Oh no, not this dude again. Hmm. 